Hi students, in today's class I am going to discuss about disaccharides. Disaccharides are the oligosaccharides which made up of two monosaccharide units which may be same or different. These two monosaccharide units are linked with each other by glycosidic linkage. This glycosidic linkage is formed by the release of water molecule. Let us discuss a few disaccharides like sucrose, maltose and lactose. Sucrose is one of the most useful disaccharide in our daily life. It is widely distributed in nature like uh, in juices, seeds, fruits and also in the flowers of many plants. The main sources of sucrose are sugarcane which contains nearly 15 to 20 percent sucrose and sugar beet which has about uh, 10 to 17 percent sucrose. In India generally we call uh, sucrose as sugar which is isolated mainly from sugarcane. Actually this sucrose is dextrorotatory in nature. Sucrose molecular formula is C12H22O11. C12H22O11 This sucrose upon hydrolysis with mineral acids or enzymes it gives two monosaccharide units those two monosaccharide units are one is glucose and another one is fructose C6H12O6 one is glucose another one is fructose both glucose and fructose are having same molecular formula but both are having different structures let us see the structure of sucrose which contains glucose and fructose in my previous session i discussed how to draw the structure for glucose h o h h o h third carbon o h is on the left hand side so fourth h o h H C H two O H. This is alpha D glucose, and it contains beta D fructose. This is beta D fructose. This is the first carbon of alpha D glucose, and this is the see, this is CH2OH. This is the second carbon of beta D fructose. This first carbon OH and second carbon hydrogen both undergoes loss of water molecule. And it results in the formation of CH2OH. This O bond we call it as a glycosidic linkage or glycosidic bond. So, the structure of sucrose is hydrogen. Here O will be there and it is linked to fructose. What is left student? CH2OH. And remaining as usual H O H O H H H O H H C H two O H C H two O H and here O H H H O H H C H two O H this is the structure of uh, sucrose sucrose yes what are the monomer units present in sucrose one is alpha d glucose another one is beta d fructose 
first carbon of alpha d glucose and second carbon of beta d fructose reacts and it results in the loss of water molecule and it forms the sucrose suppose the sucrose again upon hydrolysis what monomer units it gives one is alpha d glucose another one is beta d fructose and here uh, this is the first carbon this first carbon is having actually aldehyde group in the glucose and uh, uh, second carbon aldehyde group is carbonyl group it is having and fructose also having carbonyl group in second carbon but in this uh, cyclic ring this is the representation we discussed how that carbonyl group is reacting and we are we got have structures in the sucrose structure if you see this carbonyl uh, group means this cohoh this oh group which is uh, uh, reacted with the fructose oh group and it lost water molecule means this this is not having any free aldehyde group this is this glucose and fructose reactor so there is no free aldehyde group in the sucrose so sucrose is non reducing sugar sucrose is non reducing sugars the sugar which is having the free aldehyde group any one free aldehyde group we call it as reducing here there is no free aldehyde group free we can say carbonyl group so it is non reducing sugar let us see the second one that is maltose 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 a uh, commonly known as malt sugar which is a disaccharide present in the germinated seeds particularly of the cereals in the form of starch let us see starch its formula c6h10o5 which upon hydrolysis it gives maltose C12 H22O11 is a formula of molecular formula of maltose maltose C12 H22O11 right which is upon hydrolysis with hydrolysis it gives two monomer units both the monomer units are glucose C6H12O6 two molecules of glucose will be formed let us see the structure of uh, maltose hoh both the units are alpha d glucose units so write first one alpha d glucose molecule and write one more this is the first carbon of alpha d glucose this is the fourth carbon 1 2 3 4 fourth carbon of another alpha d glucose both reacts and loss in the water molecule and results in the formation of glycosidic bond let us see that see here this is the first carbon and this is the fourth carbon of another glucose molecule water molecule is lost and glycosidic bond is formed this is called maltose and here the formation of glycosidic bond is between c1 of one glucose and c4 of another glucose both glucoses are alpha d in case of sucrose the glycosidic bond is formed between c1 of glucose and c2 of fructose glucose is alpha form and fructose is beta form let us see next disaccharide is lactose lactose uh, present in uh, 
cow milk and as well as in human milk also if you see in cow milk its percentage is like 4 to 6 percent we can say and uh, in human milk it varies from 5 to 8 percent in the case of uh, lactose which upon hydrolysis gives two units those two units are one is beta d glucose and other one is beta d galactose lactose molecular formula also c12 h22o11 c12 h22o11 which upon hydrolysis gives one is glucose another one is galactose let us see the structure both forms are beta forms glucose and galactose are having the same molecular formula but only the difference is in case of uh, galactose molecule at fourth carbon oh group will be present on the left hand side that is only the difference remaining the total structure is same so oh h same structure of glucose but the only difference is fourth carbon for glucose oh group will be on the right hand side for the galactose it will be on the left hand side that's why i'm writing on the top this is beta d galactose unit which reacts with beta d glucose H O H H O H O H H H O H H C H two O H. Loss of water molecule take place. This O H and H goes as H two O and oxygen is left. OH H H H O H O H H here what is left H C H two O H and here H H H O H O H H H O H H C H two O H. This is called lactose. What are the monomer units, students? In case of lactose, one is beta d galactose. one more is beta d glucose and the linkage is between c1 carbon of galactose and c4 carbon of glucose yes what in today's session we discussed we discussed about we discussed about disaccharides which contains two monomer units one is uh, sucrose which contains uh, two monomers that is alpha d glucose one more is beta d fructose both units are joined together through c1 c2 linkage coming to the maltose maltose contains two monomer units both are glucose units both are connected through glycosidic linkage by c1 c4 linkage next one is lactose lactose contains two monomer units one is beta d galactose and an another one is beta d glucose both are connected through c1 c4 glycosidic linkage thanks for watching this video if you found this video is useful for you please subscribe my channel and click on like button if you have any topics doubts you can put uh, as in comment i'll make video thanks for watching